Welcome to my tutorial on how to add Mario style fireballs and uh, Emerald AI to a platformer project. I get asked a lot about this in uh, private DMs, so I just want to make sure um, you guys have something that can help you get it working correctly. Uh, Lucas actually did most of the work, but uh, um, I am happy to show you how it's done. So let's start this off. First thing of all, you want to make sure that you have installed the uh, input system. Okay, this is because Platformer Project uses the new input system. Uh, then you're going to go into your assets and you're going to install Emerald AI. Just make sure it's updated first. This will take a second and I will, uh, I'll just skip past it so that uh, we can move on. All right, so Emerald AI is installed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head install Platformer Project. Make sure it's updated. I'm using 1.7.1. Player 2 and Emerald AI are installed now. The only thing that I added was this folder says my scripts and I added the scripts and the prefab that is in the GitHub uh, repository link in the description. Uh, these are the scripts I created for you. Um, this is the script that Lucas creates for you in the tutorial in the documents. I'll show you where he did that. Um, I just have it pre-made for you to make it a little bit simpler. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and go into player two and I want to go into their scenes and I want to open the uh, test level scene. There's Lily. Hello, Lily. Say hello to everybody. All right. So the second thing I want to do is because in the future here, you know, toward the end of this, we're going to be trying to fight some enemies. So uh, instead of bringing in enemies, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the prefabs from Emerald AI. I'm going to grab a melee and I'm going to grab a ranged. Now, just because I'm very familiar with, uh, Emerald AI, I know that the ranged bad guy here um, doesn't have his uh, animation for his death. So I'm going to go ahead and add that very quickly because it drives me nuts when he just stands there in the T pose. So uh, that one is easy to do. It's just called death grenader. All right. So now when he gets when he when he kill him in a little bit here, he'll go ahead and die like everybody else. Now these guys move around based on a nav mesh. So you want to select the ground, make sure it's set to static. And then we're going to go to uh, window AI navigation and it'll pop up this window here. Go to bake and just click bake. We're not going to do anything fancy because for this tutorial, but you'll see that anything that was marked as static, it, it kind of cuts out of the mesh so that the characters know that they can't walk on that. If you go back to inspector, it'll turn all of this blue off. Okay. So now let's go ahead and close that. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to unpack Lily so that I can make some changes and not have to keep updating her um, override. All right, so we're not going to do much with, uh, with what's here. We're just going to add a few things. So first of all, let's go to my scripts and we're going to add a script called Classic Fireball to Lily, okay? So in Classic Fireball, you have uh, a couple things you need to add. One is the Fireball and one is the Fireball spawn location. So that means that we need to come here, create an empty. We can call it whatever we want. Gun barrel. All right. And then what's important, though, is that this gun barrel has to clear uh, Lily's uh, hitboxes because otherwise it will interfere. So let's go ahead and move it just a little forward. And it's, and, it, and it's actually, it's okay because it's going to spawn from here. But if you add the animation of her hand throwing the fireball, then it'll look like it's just coming from her hand. Um, anyways, so that being said, let's, uh, um, let's go back to Lily and let's put the gun barrel in here. But now we need a fireball, right? I did create a prefab so you can take a look at it, but you can also create your own. And we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and create an empty and let's call this uh, fireball two. And uh, let's inside that fireball too, let's put a sphere, but we're gonna turn off the collider because the only thing that's inside this fireball is gonna be visuals. Um, the actual meat and potatoes are gonna be here. So let's go ahead and add a rigid body so it can actually hit something. Uh, let's go ahead and add a sphere collider um, so that it can connect. Um, if you want, you can make sure that this is, uh, you know, this collider matches the sphere it should. And then we'll go ahead and make this a little bit smaller because it's, you know, it's a fireball. So now what else do we add to this? We need to add the AI damage. Okay, we're going to make this 30. So we have to hit them three times to kill them. Um, 
so this basically tells the the uh, emerald that this is going to create damage when it hits their AI 30 points every time it hits. Um, we also need to add the fireball script, not the classic fire, the, the fireball script to this. And then we need to add the fireball object, but we haven't created it yet. So let's go ahead and create it. So now we have our uh, fireball 2, which we just created. And we're going to tell it we're going to spawn that as well. So that's what's going to be spawned. We can go ahead and delete this one now. So we have our fireball too. Uh, the fire child is whatever visual effect you want. So this would be, uh, you know, like the fire, you know, a light or whatever. Uh, effect would be what happens once it hits. So if you want there to be an explosion, if you want it to, uh, you know, um, turn into a poof or whatever. And then delay explode. So for example, say that you hit something. Um, you can tell it to delay a certain amount of time before it shows off this effect. Uh, time to destroy is based on how long you want it to go for. So if you shoot it, how long will it live before you actually uh, before it actually gets destroyed? Um, velocity is important because this is what shoots the fireball. Um, so if we put 26, this is on the Z, so this will push it forward. And since this is a fireball, this is Mario Fireball, we want it to shoot downward. So we're going to shoot downward negative 22 so it's kind of shooting at an angle so it's fo going forward and shooting down at the same time so it gives it that kind of like angle it'll smash into the floor and then hopefully bounce all right so our uh fireball is done so we go to lily and we go ahead and throw that fireball into lily okay so now if that thing hits something it's going to hurt but the problem is is okay so now she's got a gun she's got a bullet but uh how does she know that you know how to how does she know it's time to shoot uh well we need to give her some input actions so let's go in here this is a new input system um you see that uh platformer project has already put in a bunch of them but we need to add a new one and let's call that fire with a capital f it's important that we remember that um and let's go ahead and select now i have an xbox controller so i'm going to say listen and i'm going to push a button to uh to tell it what i wanted to push so xbox controller i told it to push a certain button and now when it hears that button it's going to send out a signal saying fire but who's listening to that signal well that would be the input manager so let's open up the input manager and this is you don't have to be a coder this is pretty simple so what you're going to do is you're going to come here and you're just going to copy and paste and make some changes so you're going to come in here and you're going to copy this input and you're gonna paste it, and then you're just gonna change the name. You're not gonna use a capital letter. You're gonna use just fire lowercase. I'll show you where that capital F comes in. Now this one is saying, okay, we're gonna we're gonna cache this action. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna remember what happens if you uh, if you push fire, and we're gonna store it in a cache. And then we're gonna and what happens is it's going to call that capital F fire from the new input every time that it gets that the cache gets called but we need to know when to call it and that's where this comes in this this line tells it to call that cached uh, uh, option when uh when it gets the code from the controller so we're going to put it here this is where it's telling it to go ahead and call that cached option option when the button is pushed all right it's that simple Hit save, changing three things. You're adding your get button down. You're adding your cache to item, and then you're just creating a, an input field. And that's basically it. All right, now, now that you've done that, Lily should be able to shoot. Uh, might not be able to kill anything, but she can shoot. So let's go ahead and test that out. I'm gonna hit play. And I'm gonna push the button. Uh oh, what's happening here? Oh no, she's just piling up snowballs. Can't kill anything with snowballs, right? So uh, what we didn't do is if you go, if we go back to our um, my scripts and we go to our fireball too. If you notice that we forgot to um, put these velocities into her um, fireball script. Whoops. So say twenty six. We say negative twenty two. All right, so that means she's going to shoot down towards the ground. Now let's see what happens. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. She's got fireballs. Oh, yeah. 
So we can hit them because the fireballs have that damage script on it, but they don't even know we exist, right? They, they, they didn't even look at us. They just let us kill them. So what we want to do is we want to, um, and you don't have to change the tag and layer, but I do it to make it a little easier for me. So let's go to project settings and let's go ahead and add a layer and a tag. So I'm going to add player and I'm going to add a layer, player, boom, and there we go. So now Lily is going to get changed to player and player. Now you don't have to do them all just the top, just so that they know she exists. So we're going to go into our Grenader, detection and, ta detection and tags, tag options. And you see right now they're only looking on water. We're going to change that to player. Okay. Same thing with our Grenader. We're going to go to tags. We're going to go to um, tags and faction, tag options, and we're going to add player. Now they should shoot at us. Let's find out. Yep, they see us. Oh no. Ah! Now you see they're hitting us, but they're they're showing damage, but it's not actually hurting us. The reason it's not hurting us is because it knows that it hit us, but it doesn't it's not sending anything to Lily to tell let her know that she has been hurt. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come in here and adjust her health so that she live a little bit longer because they they will just they will just take her down. All right, so there she is. So now she has 100% health. Also, uh, so we need to also add um, something to the hitboxes later, but let's 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 let her take some damage first. So what we need to do is we need to add a script called Emerald Player Damage. OK, so now she's going to know she's being hit, but it's not going to take the damage from her uh, because we need to add a little bit of a, a, a little text here. Now, this information of what to add in this script, Lucas had put it in the documentation already. So if we go here to, um, to player two and we go to uh, platformer project, we go to the documentation. I'm going to show you exactly where to find it. Go to the very end. So when you go to the end, you're going to see that there is uh, the information on how to connect and damage the um, Emerald AI. All right. So the first thing is it says go into the Emerald AI uh, player script. OK, there's our script. And it says it need we need to add this this new logic. So it doesn't matter where you put it. I'm just going to put it up here. But then we need to tell it if you look here, send damage to player, send damage to player. So now what we need to do is we need to tell it that when you get hit, that you should send damage to um, to the player and start, you know, start counting down her health. So let's save that. You see, I'm not doing anything that's not in the instructions. He's very detailed about where to put this. So let's go ahead and put the, close this and close this. Uh, and then I'm going to show you the last few things. So now uh, when she gets hit, she's going to feel it. Ouch. All right. So now you see our fireballs hurt them. They can hurt me, but I can't punch them. And the reason I can't punch them is because I haven't completed um, all of the tutorial. So if we go back here and we look again, we need to add this new hitbox script to the hitboxes. And we also need to add a rigid body to the enemies. So first of all, let me just make the do the easy one here. Let's go here and let's add a rigid body. And let's go here and let's add a rigid body. All right, so now they can be hit, um, but we need to change all of these. So. If you look in the scripts that I gave you, I already did this for you, but you, it's just copy and paste. So what I did is I just copied and paste, uh, um, pasted what uh, Lucas had already created for us and made a script out of it. Okay, so I didn't do anything fancy. He did it for me. Um, and then you're going to take that and you're going to replace all of the hitboxes here. So you're going to come here and remove this one and you're going to add this one. Same thing for all three. Go in here, you're gonna remove this one and you're gonna add this one. And last one, you're gonna come here and you're gonna remove this one and you're gonna add this one. So now when she hits uh, these guys, they should take damage. Um, but what I wanna do is turn it up because it's too low. So let's say 10, 
Uh, let's see. 10. Because if we do it one, we're going to be punching these guys all day and they're never going to die. <laughs> so we have this. Let's go ahead and save this just in case something happens. Uh, all right. So now I should be able to go punch them or spin them or whatever kind of attack you want. Boom. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Ah, boom, boom. Yeah, that's right. Oh, ouch. All right. Lily's a badass. She can shoot. She can punch. She can get hurt and die. Um, like and subscribe if you want more tutorials like this. Thank you for DMing me on this. Um, but also in the description, please let me know if there's tutorials you want in the future. This asset is called the Platformer Project. I promise you it's like the best 64 uh, uh, Platformer Project controller out there. And they have great support. Uh, matter of fact, most of the stuff that you see in here, Lucas helped to integrate. That being said, until next time, this is Odd Kid. Late.